Last time we left off in the middle of a crossbow run. We're just gonna pick that back up today. This is the first run we've actually done with a crossbow. So let's see how we do. There are no enemies on the map. Oh, they're all coming over the, the hills. Okay. I'll be honest, I don't actually remember what perks I have. I'll, I should probably check that after this island, shouldn't I? I just wanted to uh, blow that rock up, to be honest. Get some more kiting into these rocks. Oh, that wasn't very good. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about this crossbow. I think I probably need to spend a bit more time using it, maybe get some more crazy mods before it's actually any good. No, oh, no. It's a big crab with a big gun. And I'm frozen. Yeah, it's definitely not a very good gun for the very early game. Like, if you're going to make tier lists on this this game for weapons, you'd have to make a tier list for early game and a tier list for late game. A basic tier list and a potential tier list. This gun would definitely be way at the bottom of the basic tier list. Like, it's just bad. It's really bad. Like, I'm almost dead. Getting close to the skull is just going to be a death wish, isn't it? Yeah. It's just too easy to get hit by those bits of ice. Especially when they bounce around and explode behind you. Like, that one wasn't even touching me. Now it's taking cover. The smartest skull I've ever seen. Alright, where's my chest? It's all the way around here. Always seems to appear behind me, and then I always go the opposite way from it. I'll go for Sonic Boom, I think. Just so that when we reload, we get like a, a shockwave that knocks enemies back. And then we'll go for... Elemental Explosions, just for two chests. Thankfully, we should be able to stay away from uh, most of these enemies. Though it is an arena, so we do have to kill all of them. Which means we need to be very careful. Really, the best way to use this thing is to gather everybody up and then... Um, and just hit them in a wave. Since we attack in like a fan pattern. Like, attacking one thing there isn't very effective, but... You can kill multiple things with a few shots like that. I know, I feel like this is one case where, um, once we kill the boss, I might take the, the crown and finish the run, so we can change guns, rather than continuing to see how crazy it could get. Because it feels like it's going to take a lot of investment to get anywhere with the, uh, the crossbow. Made the mistake of almost melleeing a crab and not moving out of the AoE. Yeah, we're really struggling on damage, even way, way up in front with these ants. It's taking a ton of shots to drop them. Hopefully the crits we get out of these chests will really solve things for us. Okay, I guess we're going for flat crit chance. And flat crit chance, wonderful. Should we go for a flawless run? I think we need the damage. It's two chests, but I think making sure it's damage is more valuable right now. Just because of how long it's taking to kill stuff most of the time. We are doing a lot more crits, it seems, with the two tiers of that perk. It's definitely noticeable. Now we just need some actual damage to back that up. I can hear a skull below me as well, I think. It's probably going to come up behind me somewhere. Oh no, it's right in front of me. There it is. it just flew up the other direction. Right, well, it's a good job I didn't go for the flawless thing because I just got blown up by that slug, so we would have missed out on it. But also, I made a discovery. You can double jump more than once in the air. Like, you have a triple jump. So you can jump, 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 jump. It, it, it seems to be dependent on how high up you are, so there's like a delay for it. So now I might actually be able to complete some of these parkour courses. 
because originally I thought it was only a double jump because of how much of a delay there is. You need some extra height, otherwise you can't jump again. Like if you've just jumped normally off the floor, you have to jump off of something and fall a bit further. I think we'll go for the chaotic shot though, just to get some random shot patterns. You can only really see it when they get really far away. I feel like they probably need to modify that so it happens a lot sooner. Like we have the same problem with pretty much every other type of shot pattern. It doesn't do anything until it's too far away to matter. But we get a random pickup from the glass totem. It's not a bad one as well, but I don't actually have space for it. I think I'm actually going to drop precision. I don't think it's really helping me as much as any other perk could. Like if I miss something, then it just doesn't help and it only increases by one damage per stack anyway. So what do we have? I think Critical Link and Damage Aura are pretty good. Fortitude is an instant pick, I think. I think I'll go for Critical Link as well. But my inventory's full. And it's going to cost 2,100 to buy a slot. Yeah, I think I'm going to get rid of Fast Shot for that. So I can pick this up. Because they seem to travel at a decent pace anyway. Now let's see if we can get like a heart or something. I mean, Scattershot and Performance Bonus are decent. I kind of want Scattershot, which means I need to drop another weapon mod, though. Okay, I'm going to get rid of Aerial Shot, just because I have to be airborne for that to work. And I need 17 more crystals. Wow, I am just shy. Yeah, let's get rid of Big Grenades, and then I can afford Scattershot. And then we have the Elite. And of course it's an Elemental Crab as well. I don't think I can kill this. Yeah, I need to get too close to do any decent amount of damage, and that's just a death sentence. Like, I'm pretty sure this is the thing that killed me on my last run as well, wasn't it? Oh no, I'm stuck in a corner. Back off, back off, get away. Can I drag it in and use these rocks on it, maybe? Come on, keep coming closer. Yeah, there's just too much moving around for me to be able to dodge it all, considering the weapon I'm using. I need to be too stationary to get a good shot with this thing. And with the way it kind of anticipates your movements as well, I can dive out from behind one pillar and still be getting shot at, even though I just avoided another hail of gunfire. Yeah, okay, we're doing all right. But I don't know if this is going to be possible. Yeah, that's another hit. Okay, that was some decent damage. Let's just back right off. Alright, we're just a hit away from death now. We might stay on 1 HP for a short amount of time. I think you get like knocked down to 1 health when you get hit when you've got over a certain threshold. But I don't know if we qualify for that right now. Oh, my grenade's going way overhead too. Need to judge that a bit better. Okay, we've almost got it. We're both... Oh, no, yep, there's my 1 HP. Come on, oh my god, that was so close. You could see the purple balls just flying straight past our head there. So we have bronze armor... A key. And in our chest, we have... Go for Critical Blast, maybe? Or Spark Shot? I think we've got Spark Shot. And that puts us on the next biome, which is the Volcano. Which I'm pretty certain is where we're going to die. We're not doing enough damage. These things are just going to take forever to kill. And then I'm just going to get caught out by something coming up behind me. doing okay in terms of healing, but I don't really know what else I can do. We just need more damage now. Okay, that's the island cleared. Where's my chest? There it is. Do I want the sniper turret? I think I'll take the sniper turret. I do quite like the idea of using turrets in this game. Never really got a chance to use them properly, though. Spiked chest I can't even afford to open, even if I wanted to take it. I don't think, yeah, it takes a third of our health. So we need 130 at least, so we're going to have to go for the health chest. 
which, I mean, technically I could have had 130 health by the time we get to the chest, but if we start taking damage, then we just don't get loot, is the problem, and it's just a waste. You're know, like, what's the point in taking the risk on no chest when I can guarantee myself something useful? Worst case scenario, I just end up selling it so I can buy a damage perk from Tony's shop. Anyway, let's see what we have. Vitality, Endurance, and Fortitude. We'll go for another Fortitude and a Skill Chest. Oh, that's a turret. Oh, it's gold. Okay, it's, it's alright. It looks like... Damn it. I did not mean to get it there. It looks like we're probably going to need a few of those, or to at least upgrade it a few times before they're actually going to be useful. And they seem to... well, they Oh, it got destroyed. Oh, that's not very good. I mean, I wasn't expecting it to last forever. But at the same time, it got destroyed very quickly. I'm really surprised this fire crab hasn't hit me yet as well. Okay, I spoke too soon. There we go. Right, let's go for uh, big claws, just for a bit more melee range. I'd have to drop something for the other stuff. Elemental chest can give me damage, so we'll go for that. We'll see if we can get the flawless. Let's we'll go back into kite mode. Oh, there's my turret as well. It spawned in a really weird place this time. Like, not where I spawned in, which is where the other one did. Maybe they have, like, a set location for each map, so it's not like where you spawn in, it's a location the devs picked for the map. Okay, let's get up here. This seems quite defensible. Actually, no, it doesn't. The crabs can jump up there, too. Oh, there's a skull there as well. Come on, turret, help me out. Yeah, the spread on this is just way too much for anything other than short range. But then it's also not accurate enough for close range. Okay, we have a, a double chest though, because we've got the flawless. Lightning shot, poison shot, random shot. I do like the lightning one, but we can't pick it up, is the problem. Random, poison, and lightning. So yeah, I want to drop a weapon mod so that I can take two stages of lightning then. Okay, I think I'm going to drop critical chain, because we have the perks to deal critical hits in the first place. That just increases our chance on the second critical hit, and then it has a 12 second cooldown, which is quite long. What's that? Is that just armor? Yeah. I got excited when I saw the golden perk, but it was just armor. Okay, we'll get a random pickup. Flammable armor. Okay. Can we double our health? We can. We can't use it anymore, but we've got double health. Alright, what's that there? Silver heart? That's pretty cool, actually, that we picked that up now. Would it be nice to use that and the one there before we use the totem, but I also wanted to use the use the totem first before I bought this heart, just in case we uh, <laughs> needed to fix a mistake. We'll take the silver heart. And I guess we'll re-roll. Uh, I don't really have enough money to buy something after I re-roll, do I? Yeah, we'll just keep going. Our DPS isn't very good, so we'll go for a damage chest. Just another arena. Could do with gathering some things up so my shots are actually worthwhile. Oh, there's my turret, in a really awkward position where it can't see much of the arena. It must just be random placement then, there's no way somebody in their right mind would put that turret there. Just getting blown up by ants and slugs now. Yeah, these ants are... not the ants, the slugs are really running in to try and blow up at me, aren't they? They seem determined to end themselves. Why am I just shooting straight up? Is that the hill, perhaps? Like, we're aiming up because we're on a hill? I don't know, it's kind of weird. Either way... We'll take Eagle Eye, I guess, because it's the only one I can actually pick up. And then an upgrade chest sounds good, considering we're 
not able to pick up quite as much stuff now. Just blow that up, let things walk into it. I've kind of stuck myself in a precarious position here. Let's get over this way so that my sniper turret can cover me. There's as much covering as it's capable of doing, of course, which is not very much. I do feel like a, a full build of turret perks would be really nice. But at the same time, you very rarely see them, so it's not like it's even worth taking by the looks of it. Like, you'd have to get a few in a row for it to be worthwhile, but you can't really make that call because you don't know what you're going to get next. So it's like an investment you don't really want to be making, but you don't know if it's even going to pay off, so... Yeah, turret perks just don't seem that great. I, I know I'm taking loads of damage, but I'm just going to have to burn these poison crabs down because I have no other choice. It's this, or I just spend forever jumping backwards and forwards, like getting hit while I'm trying to avoid stuff. I feel like this is just the path of least damage. Okay, what's our perk? Spark shot or efficiency? We'll go for spark shot. And then a flawless upgrade chest? We'll take it. Okay, we are going to be doing many kitings right now. I'm not too bothered about what I kill here. I just want the chests at this point, so we're going to be running around lots. And it's a perfect map for it, there's like perfect loops here. I'm almost nervous about hitting these rocks just in case I kill myself with one of them. Oh, that's a lot of crabs in the lava. No. I went too far out. I took damage from the lava. Ah, <sighs> damn it. In an attempt to avoid damage, I took damage. It is easy to forget about the lava. I mean, it's bloody everywhere and it's kind of brightly coloured, but when you're used to being able to just like jump off the islands and into the water in the rest of the game, you know, it can be a bit problematic. Oh, well, let's just use the last few seconds to spray down this crowd. Get as many crystals as we can. And then let's see what we've got from the upgrade chest this time. Fortitude or Grim Reaper? I will take... Um, Fortitude, I think. Grim Reaper's great and all, but having more max health just feels like the right play. Because we have... Plenty of methods to heal as it is. So, what do we have? Arc shot. Sharp shot, which that's just an instant pickup, is sharp shot. And then I think we'll go for a reroll. Legendary is a gold armor. And we also have silver armor, sharpshooter, accelerating shot. So we'll take sharpshooter. And then is this the boss? It is. Okay. Let's see if we can clear it. Some money in the middle. That's a giant ant with a million armor. And also I think it just spawned something. Oh, it's got like a machine gun. It's just like vomiting rapid fire. Oh, those were some slow moving projectiles. They just chase me around the wall. Okay, I do need to get quite close to deal with any damage here, considering our spread. These homing shots are a real nuisance. Almost through the armor now, though. I had so much armor, it was like a second health bar. I was hoping to drag it into that fire. Yeah, it sounds like it's in. I can't see if it's in for all the green, but... Got a few hit marker sounds. Oh, that was a lot of damage. She got stun locked by all of those homing shots. It's spawning some ants now as well, which also have armor and their ice ants as well. So if we get frozen, we're pretty much dead. Let's just avoid them. I mean, I feel like I might die here anyway. We're getting close to killing it, but it just keeps spawning these homing shots, which seem to have explosive radius to them. We 
Oh yeah, the ice ants are just vomiting ice at me too. Okay, there we go. We got a full heal for some reason. Um, that took most of my health off me though. So we'll take the bronze armor. We've got a legendary chest though. Splash damage, critical blades, dagger slash, poison explosion. It really doesn't matter which I take because we're going to Crab Island to celebrate victory. So it's literally just an island with a golden crab on it and you can pick up a crown. Actually, is there anything around the back? I haven't had an explore of this place before. It doesn't seem like there was anything, but no, there isn't. Okay. So you just pick up the crown and you go back to the start. Become a champion. Oh, and I got the blue tiger crab skin for uh, winning with the crossbow. So yeah, we just come back here. Do I have any keys I can use? I do. What, what do we have? Auto shotgun. Okay, that's pretty cool, actually. I could see that being very strong. Yeah, yeah, seems pretty good. So we'll do a run with this one next. I think what I'm going to do is um, try and unlock all of the weapons. Then we'll start doing some nightmare mode once I've picked which weapons are like the best. And we'll just like cycle through those weapons until um, I feel comfortable with one in particular more than all the others. And then after that, we can maybe do some multiplayer, just like find some random lobbies or something or get some other people off Discord to play. We'll see. But anyway, many thanks to all the Patreon pledgers, the channel members you see on your screen right now, and I'll catch you next time.